this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can create an O-ring groove within one CNC. In this example, we have a solid model, and we're going to be creating an O-ring groove around the perimeter of this pocket. Now, I've already created the wireframe geometry for the O-ring groove. Let's turn that layer on. You can see it consists of a path and also a cross section. You can see that circle right there. Let's temporarily turn our solid model layer off. That looks good. And let's head over to the command manager and select our surfaces tool. Within there, we're going to use the swept command. What that's going to do is take this cross section of that circle and sweep it along the path. First things first, we need to select the cross section. I'm going to left click, left click the arrow. Notice how my cursor changes to the word start. It wants me to pick the path now. I'm going to left click, left click the direction, and then hit the F3 key on the keyboard to quickly select the rest of the geometry. And there we go. There is our surface that represents the O-ring groove. Now what we want to do next is we want to convert that surface geometry into a single solid model. And the reason for that is once that geometry is a solid model, we can subtract the O-ring solid model from the main part solid model to create the final O-ring groove. All right, so let's turn our solid model layer off. And right now, this is just one surface. Now we have a couple of tools that will convert closed surfaces into a solid model. We head over to the command manager, we can look, we have merge and union. However, these work on multiple surfaces and right now we just have one big surface there. So why don't we break this up into individual surfaces by using this option called break to surfaces, left click, and now these are individual surfaces. Because of that, we can now select all the surfaces by hitting Control A on the keyboard and use the union command. And now this creates a solid model. Now we can verify this by heading down to the lower right hand corner and selecting our verify tools and then selecting the retrieve information command. Left click and we can see that one CNC is reporting that this is a solid model. All right, all we have to do now is turn our other layer back on. Let's head back over to the command manager. Let's use the difference command. Select the model that you want to alter. That's going to be the main body. Now select the solid model that you want to subtract with just a left click. And there we go. You can see now that we've created that O-ring groove by subtracting one solid model from another. Now, why don't we turn off our wireframe geometry? I'll head down to the lower right hand corner. Let's turn off our wireframe geometry layer and you can see the final result. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.